I'm Gordy Howe. I play for Detroit in the fastest, toughest league of any sport in the world, the National Hockey League. It's a league where you can never afford to let down for a second. It's a game where every minute is full of tense action and every player is as good as you are on a given night. There are standouts in every game, but over the long haul, it's a team play that counts. All six teams in the National Hockey League are made up completely of top hockey talent. You have to be the best to get there in the first place and then work hard to stay there. The season is a long one, but all through it, the players and the coaches are thinking about and working hard toward one thing, to get into the playoffs and win the Stanley Cup. Gordie Howe doesn't like the word star, so let's just call him one of the all-time greats of the hockey world. He proves it year after year. He proved it emphatically again this year, not only over the season, but in a sensational performance during the playoffs. The semifinal B series opened in lusty Chicago, where the home team has to win or the fans are insulted. They roared their beloved Hawks to victory in the first two home games. The scores, 5-4 to four and 5-2. to two. Then, in the third game at Detroit, Eric Nestorenko could no longer contain Howe, the leading point scorer, the Art Ross Trophy winner. The great Gordon celebrated his birthday by leading his team to a 4-2 win. It was all the inspiration the persistent Red Wings needed. With Chicago's Bobby Hull injured and two other first stringers out of the lineup, the Red Wings evened the series at home and then went on to win the four straight required to eliminate Chicago in six games. And so, Detroit. The surprise team over the entire season fulfilled their underrated potential and were ready now to take on the winner of the Toronto-Montreal series. Meanwhile, the Stanley Cup champions of 1962 had beaten their old rivals, the Montreal Canadiens, in the first two games of the A series in Toronto. Coach Toe Blake's Canadiens were looking forward to better things when they packed up to return to their home stadium, the Montreal Forum. Pack, travel, play. Pack, travel, play. Skates, sticks and uniforms, and strong, healthy bodies, always on the move. There's no let-up in the NHL. Not when the Stanley Cup is the prize. Vive les Canadiens! The roar of the crowd nearly lifted the roof off the forum. But the combination of home ice and home crowd was not enough. The third game of the A-Series semifinal went again to the league-leading Toronto Maple Leafs. It was three up and one to go. The home of Les Canadiens is the home of the Richards, and neither one of them gives up without a fight. It was Henri Richard who sparked the Canadiens to a 3-1 victory and brought a gleam back to the eyes of the dedicated Montreal fans. Two nights later, the gleam faded and died as the Maple Leafs pulled out all the stops and blanked the Canadiens five to nothing. The semifinals were over, and now it was just team against team for the biggest prize in hockey. Champion versus the ambitious contender. Toronto Maple Leafs and Detroit Red Wings. Every stick machined to perfection and every skate as keen and sharp as the man who wears it. Millions of people across Canada listened and watched as the annual sports classic began, adding to the excitement for television viewers the voice of Bill Hewitt. Here we are at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto for the first game of the Stanley Cup Finals. Detroit Red Wings wearing white and the Toronto Maple Leafs in their dark blue uniforms. Frank Udberry drops the puck and it goes back to Stanley over to Horton. Horton's pass intercepted. Ullman clearing into the Leafs zone. Detroit Red Wings coming back again. Ullman over the line to Floyd Smith in the corner. He's checked by Keon. Keon and Duff try to combine. Duff took his pass. Away he goes down the left wing. Over the blue line. Closing in. He's in the floor. Dick Duff, half the short side. And the Maple Leafs go in front, 1-0. At the 49-second mark of the first period. 
It's Duff getting another break. Coming in the left side, he shoots, he scores! Big stop, racing in again, getting loose. And the Leafs go ahead 2-0 after one minute and eight seconds of the first period. Leafs 2, Detroit, no score. Leafs clear the puck into the Detroit zone. Sachuk stopping, it's scooping into the corner. Bill Gazzy back for it. Up comes Gazzy with a pass to Gordie Howe at the blue line. Howe goes to center. A pass on the right wing over the line. The Red Wings close in around the Leaf goal. Bauer stopped one. Parker McDonald tried to get it back to the blue line. He does. It rolls out in the wings. Nevin's got a break coming in from the side. Right in front of backhand. He scores! Bob Nevin makes it 3 nothing for the Maple Leafs in the first period. Out of Maple Leafs 3, Detroit Red Wings no score. In the second period, Larry Jeffrey in the early minutes comes through from Elman and Smith. And it's 3-1 with the Red Wings pressing. It's cleared to the blue line. Stopped by Howe. A shot goes wide. Larry Jeffrey has scored the only goal of the game for the Red Wings so far. Got it loose to Elman. Elman passing it back again to the blue line. Alex Del Vecchio, a slap shot. That was stopped by Bauer. He juggles it. Jeffrey goes after it. Couldn't control it. It goes to the boys. He scoops it back out in front of the net. And it clears up to the blue line. Here the Red Wings... Fighting for it again. A pass to Gordy Howe and a shot. And Bauer stopped that. Still in the leaf zone. Finally goes out. The Red Wings come in again. Gordy Howe to Larry Jeffries. He cuts and he shoots. Scores! Larry Jeffries gets his second goal of the night. From Howe and Elman at 8.05 of the second period. Nevin from Pulford and Shaq in the third period. The Leafs win the game 4-2. The stage is set for the second game in Toronto. It followed much the same pattern as the first contest, with the Maple Leafs scoring three goals before a reply from Detroit. Eddie Lutzenberger opens for the Maple Leafs at 5.31 from Bob Pulford and Tim Horton. Ron Stewart gave the Leafs a 2-0 lead before the first period was over. After just 49 seconds in the second period, Bob Nevin scores from Alan Stanley and Tim Horton, giving the Leafs a 3-0 lead. The Red Wings storm back, and Gordie Howe scores on his summer fishing partner, Johnny Bauer. For the sixth time in his NHL career, Howe was awarded the Hart Trophy for being the most valuable player to his team. Ron Stewart gets his second goal of the night when he outguesses Terry Sawchuck with a backhand shot on a pass from Eddie Litzenberger. The Leafs go in front of Detroit 4-1. to one. Gordie Howe completes the scoring in the third period on a perfect pass from Jeffrey and Ullman. The Leafs win their second game in a row, 4-2. to two. Next stop, Detroit and the Olympia Stadium with Keon still to be heard from. Pack him up, Bob Haggard. There's a plane to be caught and a game to be won. Take it easy with the sticks when you load them on board. One of them is labeled Stanley Cup. And easy on the passengers. The season's been long and there's work still to be done. Detroit Olympia, hungry for the Stanley Cup, which the Red Wings last won in 1955. Thousands of loyal fans, not one of them the slightest bit downhearted. They saw their wings lose the first two games to the Hawks in the semifinal and then come back. What happened once can happen again. Now, Bill Hewitt. Getting set for the face-off. Detroit Red Wings are wearing their dark red uniforms. The Maple Leafs in white. Referee Frank Gadvery drops the puck and the Leafs take possession. Going back into their own zone. Stanley cleared it out. Knocked back by Detroit. The Leafs are hemmed in their own end. Stasiak goes after the puck in the corner. He clears it back. Detroit still keep it in. Stasiak gets a hold of it. Here's a backhand. He scores! Rick Stasiak scoring after just 33 seconds of his first period. Detroit on their home ice leading 1-0. Here's a chance for Eddie Joyelle. Bauer slides out. Oh, and Joyelle hit the goal post. Stanley picks up the rebound. Waits. Passes it to Bob Pulford. Away goes Pulford his own blue line to center. Up to the Detroit line. He gets through the fence. Getting set the backhand. Oh, and Sachuk slid out and made the save. It's Detroit carrying the puck back into the lead zone. Del Vecchio trying to center. How lets one go. That's why. 
It goes to the board. Cleared out and down the ice. Now it's Keon breaking up the Detroit Rush, getting in front. He slides his door. Keon goes flying over Slatchak, and the puck goes in the net. And the Toronto Maple Leafs have tied it up. Davey Keon, who is known as the little firecracker in Detroit, comes through with a tying goal for the Maple Leafs. The puck is back in the Detroit zone. Pete Goigan tried to cover his check. Slatchak picked it up. Bill Gadsby trying to get a hold of it. Kelly tried to center for the Leafs. Armstrong of the Leafs, a pass. Intended for Keon, who's knocked into the boards. Gadsby fall. Fulford tried to center it. Lissenberger out in front of the net. Now then, Sartuck is leaving the net and going to the bench. As the Leafs have picked up a delayed penalty, Gordy Howe goes over the boards. Skates back into the Leafs zone, takes a shot. Bauer catches it. And holds on to it for a face-off. We're in the second period. The score is still tied. 1-1. Bauer falls down after stopping a shot. And the Leafs cleared out to center ice. Duff going after it. A long shot by Keon was wide. Armstrong missed the rebound. Detroit in possession to Vic Stasiak. Clearing it out to center. Now it's Alex Faulkner losing the puck to Bob Bond. Bond, a clearing pass for Bob Nevin. He couldn't get it out. Faulkner picks it up in front of the net. He shoots. He scores! Alex Faulkner, the pride of Newfoundland, gives Detroit the lead for the second time in the game. Now leading in the second period, 2-1. to one. Dave Keon into Detroit territory. A pass for Armstrong, picked up by Elman. Elman goes in over the leaf line, trying to go around Horton. Horton turned him around. The puck comes near Bowery, kicks it out. Stanley sits on it. And he and Bauer hold it for a face-off. Now here's a chance for the Red Wings again. Floyd Smith over the line. A drop pass for Stasiak. He's got it. A pass in front of Ullman. Missed it. Horton goes after it. He checks Floyd Smith. Going down the right wing. A pass over to Kelly. Up over the blue line. They're going in together. Kelly waits. Shoots. They hit Horton. He scores! Horton. Off his leg into the net. And Terry Fatsuck comes running out to talk to referee Frank Gutberry. Score is now tied 2 all. The puck is back in the lease zone. Here's Marcel Pronovo a shot. Faulkner to flick. He scores! Alex Faulkner got a piece of the puck with his stick and it went into the net. And the Detroit Red Wings go ahead again. 3-2. Detroit Red Wings now leading by a score of 3-2 and we're in the third period. The puck goes back into the Maple Leaf zone. Gordy Howe is checked. Alman gets his shot. Picked up by Brewer. Brewer fakes the pass, then finally clears it. George Armstrong, stick handling around the Detroit defense. Howe slid in front of him and comes up with the puck. Gordy Howe, number nine. Shoots it out to center ice. Bauer tipped the puck off to the side. Now it's Eddie Shack, a pass for Pope. Right in front, he shoots. Half of the net on a backhand. And Doug Barkley tried to clear it. It's in the corner. Three to two for the Detroit Red Wings. Here's a chance for a shot by Armstrong. Knocked down in front. The Leafs are using six attackers. Chance for Horton to shot. Sotchuk got a piece of it. And he's jammed into the side of the net there. And they finally hold it for a face off. Time running out. Leafs using six attackers. Detroit ahead. Three to two. Alex Del Vecchio picks up the loose puck, goes behind the net, and the game is over. And the Detroit Red Wings have defeated the Toronto Maple Leafs by a score of 3-2, to two, and now the Leafs lead the Stanley Cup Final Series two games to one. In three consecutive Sunday playoff games, a young Newfoundlander scored the winning goal for Detroit. He was chosen star number one in that fabulous third game against Toronto. Alec Faulkner, the blonde islander with a Sunday punch, was in the big time in a big way. Game number four in Detroit. I'll set for the faceoff, and from the draw, Keon gets it back to the blue line. Stanley gets it over to Horton on the right wing, and Horton clears the puck into the Detroit zone, and they clear it right back out again. Normie Elman was checked by George Armstrong, who clears it into the Detroit zone. Duff goes after it. 
into the corner. He runs into Floyd Smith, and Almond comes up with it. Almond's pass goes out over the blue line. Leafs in possession, shooting it right back into the Detroit zone, into the corner. It's near Satchuk. He whacks the puck back to the boards, and Gordy Howe has it, number nine. Howe, a long pass over out of the left wing. Howe gets it handed back, gets a shot, he scores! And it gets to Bowers' glove into the net. And Detroit take a one nothing lead in the first period of this fourth game with the 254 mark. Del Vecchio and Parker McDonald assisting. one nothing has Brewer of the Leafs backhands it into the Detroit zone. Satchuk out of the net. Back there, fort number 11, Vic Stasiak. Over onto the board. Stopped there by Bob Bond. His shot in front to Keon at the side. Back again, a shot. It's right to Satchuk, and he goes down on his knees and covers up for a faceoff. There's a shot by Detroit. Knocked down by Stanley. It goes to the corner, and Horton has it. Pass to the blue line. Detroit keeping in. Here's a chance for Ullman. A shot. Bauer catches it. How runs into them. And they fall together right in the goal crease. George Armstrong of the Maple Leafs scored the 117 mark of the second period. And the game was all tied up. 1-1. Keon getting an assist on the play. And the puck is in the lease zone. Joyal takes a shot, number 21. The rebound goes to Nevin. He's checked. Puck is still in there. Joyal clearing it out to the side. Howe trying to center. He's behind the goal, clearing it off to the wing. Gordy Howe after number nine. He's being watched by Stewart. Gets away from him. Still has it a backhand. Parker McDonald bumped by Bond. Howe is knocked out to the wing by Brewer. And Brewer races after with Joyal. Joyal failed to get to it. But it's kept in by Alex Del Vecchio. Nevin lost his stick. Here's Joyal right in front of the net. He gets set. Waits, takes a shot. Bauer stops it. He gets it again. He scores. And he's Joyal. Going for Detroit. And the Red Wings go ahead by a score of 2-1. to one. Detroit 2. Toronto Maple Leafs 1 in the second period. At the Detroit Olympia. On the faceoff. In Detroit territory. Kelly let one go. Armstrong just missed it. At the goal trace. It goes into the corner. Now then, Kelly. At center. Up over the Detroit blue line. He's hit hard by Marcel Pronovo and knocked flat. Val Fontaine into the corner on the far wing. It's cleared to the blue line. But the Leafs keep it in there. Mike Mahavlis gets set. Takes his shot. And it's knocked down by the Detroit defense and cleared down the ice. Now it's Kelly back again. Litzenberger on his right. Kelly waits. Shoots. He scores. Kelly picks the short side. Leading Sotchak with a quick shot. And the game is all tied up again. Two off. Now we're in the third period with the score tied. Two all. And Dave Keon breaks out on the right wing to center ice. Up over the Detroit blue line, weaving around. Pete Goigan knocked it off the side. Ullman knocks him into the boards. Armstrong tried to center it. He did. Brewer's shot. And Duff missed the rebound. It's out in front. Cleared off to the side again. It's the Leafs keeping it in there. Keon, a shot for Armstrong. It rebounds behind Gadsby. Picked up by Keon again. He shoots the scores. Keon on a backhand. Found the short side. And the Leafs take the lead. Three to two. On the face-off, the puck is back at center ice. It's picked up there by Doug Barkley, number five. Barkley of Detroit, a pass over in the left wing. Owen Litzenberger ran into Parker McDonald and knocked him down. And Vern Buffy gives Eddie Litzenberger a penalty for tripping. Giving the Detroit Red Wings the odd man advantage. Six men to five. Gordy Howitt's a shot goal. And that's stopped by the Leafs defense. It's still in another shot. And it goes over to the board. Elman picks it up. Back to the blue line of Del Vecchio. To Elman. He clears it over to Howe. Off the boards. Howe lets it go, and it's wide. It rebounds to Del Vecchio. Over to Ullman again. Back to Howe. Howe gets set. He shoots. Oh, and that hits Stanley and rebounded out to the blue line, but not over. Del Vecchio to Howe again. He shoots. Bauer stops it. Another shot by Smith. Bauer stops that, and it's knocked off to the side. Anime Police leading 3-2 to two as Jerry Obrowski failed to get it out of his own zone for Detroit. Back there is Doug Barkley along the board. Bobley's tried to trap it. It's kept in by the Leafs. Goes to Doug Barkley again, and he shoots it, but not up. Kelly gets a hold of him, but he shoots it. Oh, 
Bill Kelly. Let go of Kick Rishai. Falchuk got a piece of it, but not enough. And it slid by him into the net. And the Leafs have defeated the Detroit. Predicted would be the last game of the series and the year. Tickets, except for the early birds and the season ticket holders, were impossible to find. The fans sensed that tonight would wrap it up. Bill Hewitt was there. The Detroit Red Wings, wearing their white uniforms, carry the puck. Alex Faulkner clearing it into the Leafs zone. Johnny Bauer stopped it. Brewer nearly lost it. It goes over to the wing. After it, their number 15, Andre Pronovo, was jammed into the board. Still in the Leafs zone. The Leafs finally clear it out. Eddie Shack knocks it down into the Detroit zone. Goes after it. Tried to pass it in front. He's never alone. He shoots. Oh, and Terry Satsak came out of his goal crease to cover up on the shot. No score in this first period. Gary Ojoski in the penalty box. Dave Keon in possession. Getting set. Ragging the puck in Detroit territory. Gadsby watching him. Also Fontaine. He passed it behind Douglas, number 19, who flips it over to Kelly. Kelly was checked by Gadsby, but Keon came to help him escape. Back to Kelly. For Keon again into the corner. Douglas waits. A pass to Keon. Keon coming out in front. Turns around. A backhand is wide. Kelly gets it in the corner. Back to Douglas. And flaps up. Oh, and Terry Fatsuck picked that one out of the air with his left hand. Kelly into the corner. Leafs still putting on the pressure. Speared out. Gordy Howe's got a breakaway. Bauer comes racing out, and he pokes up the puck away from Howe. And it goes out to center. The Leafs bring it back. Kelly over the line. Let go of screenshot. Fatsuck stopped that. It's all around the Detroit goal. Kelly, another shot. Fatsuck stood in front of it with Oldman. Houndman behind the goal, into the corner. Brings it up to center ice. Clearing pass on the wing. Detroit come over the line. Stays the to Howe. Howe was checked. It's slapped to the blue line. Keon's going to break one man back. Keon going up the center. Over the blue Getting set for the second period with Keon's goal. Giving the Leafs a 1-0 lead after one period. Getting set now for the second period in a faceoff in the Leafs zone. It's Gordy Howe coming back to Del Vecchio. He takes the side, scores! That was Del Vecchio slapped at it. And it hit the inside of the left goal post and went into the net. And it's all tied up. And for Alex Del Vecchio, he scored after just 49 seconds of the second period. And it's a 1-1 tie. Now we get set for the third period. A long shot. Goes near the leaf, goes cleared by Armstrong, down the ice, a race for Keon, trying to get through, Gadsby slides in front of him, and knocks him into the boards, and the puck goes back to center. As Detroit with Ullman, clearing the puck in, a bouncing shot, Bauer came out of his net to stop it, and Bob Bond cleared a backhand into the corner along the board. Away goes Dick Duff to his own blue line to center. Over the Detroit blue line. A backhand shot. That shot got it on his skate. The rebound to Oldman. Skated off by Keon. It took it away from him. Keon trying to get a pass in front of the net. That shot out of the goal. Failed to get to it. And it's picked up by Oldman. Oldman shot it off the board. Here's the Leafs coming back. Shaq over the line with Pulford. A pass in front and Pulford missed it. Shaq gets the rebound in the corner again. Bears it back to Horton, the shot. That check stopped it. He stops the Norma, rolls up the van, and he holds on for a face-off in the Detroit zone. Holford lost the draw. Alex Faulkner, number 12. A clearing pass in the left wing. Stopped by Douglas. He shoots, hits Sack, gets scored! A deflected shot by Tiff Douglas, hitting Sack, stick, and going into the corner of the net. And the Leafs take the lead by a score of 2-1 to one at the 13-28 mark. Of this third period. And now we have six minutes and 21 seconds left. Detroit with Parker McDonald. Eddie Joyal and Normie Elman trying to come out to center. Parker McDonald, a pass. Joyal gets over the line. He's closing in from the left side. He shoots it and power stops it. The rebound went out to the wing. Sotchuk is coming out of the net. The Red Wings now have six attackers. Hit right in front of the net. Here's Elman, an open net. He shoots it. Douglas. And it bounces over Howe into the corner. It's still loose as the Red Wings are doing everything but put that puck in the net. It comes back out in front. Nevin tries to get it out. He can't. Howe is all tangled up with Johnny Bauer. Howe's got a skate caught. Bauer falls. And Howe gets to his feet and gives Johnny Bauer a tap. 
Two to one for the Maple Leafs. And still the Red Wings are using six attackers. It's Elman trying to get the draw. It's cleared down the ice. Bruce McGregor is now out there for the Red Wings. It goes into the corner. Back there for it quickly, Del Vecchio. Elman also with him. Now it's Elman leading the attack. Coming up to his own blue line. Up the center with Packer McDonald. Over. For the ninth time, the Toronto Maple Leafs have won the Stanley Cup. All the competitive heat of the long season is now forgotten. And the victors, the Stanley Cup, emblematic of the hockey championship of the world. George Armstrong, captain of the Leafs, receives it from Clarence Campbell, president of the National Hockey League. Both of them grateful to everyone involved who make hockey the most exciting.